Hello. Well, here we are entering into the second week now of being in lockdown as we've come to know it. Confined uh, many to their own homes, uh, self-isolating either because uh, we have symptoms or because uh, to stay safe we're being uh, told and advised that we should stay in our homes. And uh, that's become part of a, a way of life already in just a few days. Only venturing out uh, to have some exercise each day if we're feeling that's a, a thing that we're safe to do. And going out perhaps if we need to, to shop for those essential items to make sure we have food uh, to live on. It's not easy for us to be in this situation. None of us have ever experienced anything quite like this before. We can't get out to meet the people whom we love, uh, the people who we work with, the people who are our neighbours. We can't just bump into them in the street and chat to them. We can't come together to worship and enjoy fellowship together. We can't share the peace by hugging or shaking hands. For some that might be something of a relief, but for most of us not to be able to be close to those uh, whom we're used to spending time with is hugely difficult. We can't comfort those who for all sorts of reasons are grieving, those who have lost loved ones and can't say goodbye in the way that they were hoping they might be able to. In all sorts of ways this is a strange, difficult and challenging time and we're conscious of the huge pressures on particular groups of people in our communities and across our nation, the huge burden on those who work for our health service, those who work in social care. We have many in our own church community, doctors, consultants, nurses, those who work in practices, uh, social carers, and we need to be praying for them as they carry a particularly heavy responsibility and load at this time. It's difficult for us to find ways of staying connected when physically we're not able to get out and about in the way that we have taken for granted. And so we're trying to find all sorts of different ways. We've almost been overwhelmed in these first few days with the different ways we can stay in touch through social media, the material that's available online, almost overwhelming amounts of information and opportunity to stay in touch. There are times actually when it's an understandable reaction to simply feel like curling up on the sofa and backing away from everything. Not easy, but this is where technology does help us. And we have been able to find ways of staying in touch uh, online using WhatsApp and Facebook and Zoom and all sorts of other ways in which we find we can talk with one another and actually see each other which can be hugely comforting at this time. We're seeking to do that in the church. There are a number of WhatsApp groups including the St Leonard's uh, social group and uh, I, I invite you to, if you've not already, to uh, to ask someone to put you on that. Anyone who's in the group already can add you. It's a good way of just uh, sharing with others and uh, there are encouraging uh, posts on there, people putting uh, insights from the Bible on their prayers and also um, some who are very good at finding the humorous uh, posts for us to have a laugh at, which we need at this time. All sorts of ways then in which we're trying to stay in touch. We are conscious, of course, that for some uh, they're not able to, to, uh, to get in, onto the internet to find any of those resources and we're doing all we can to stay in touch by phone uh, with those who are, if you like, digitally isolated as well. And uh, Karen is at the moment putting together, along with Carol who's working remotely in, in the church office now in Attenborough, uh, a worship sheet which we will post out to those who cannot access uh, anything online. We are doing all we can to stay connected and I know that all of us are trying to play our own part in staying in touch 
with others in the church community, with our neighbours, with those in the wider community. And it's really important that we continue to do that in the coming days and weeks when we are likely to be in this situation. As a church, we are uh, attempting to make sure that we put material up on the website to help us in our prayer and worship. If you go to the website regularly, you will find that we're putting uh, resources uh, up there and uh, suggestions as to uh, resources you might like to use during these days that will help you, help all of us stay connected to God. In fact, we, we pray that we may find during this time a greater dependency upon the God whom we believe loves us and remains steadfast and keeps his promises and who gives to us hope of a better day to come, not just in this world, but a better day to come ultimately as well. And we look forward with hope. We need to remain a people of hope. In all sorts of areas, we are trying to help different parts of the church community stay connected. It's been great to hear and to see what uh, Lindy's been doing with our children's groups on a Sunday morning. Uh, using Zoom to, uh, to connect with the children and the families, uh, to find uh, Bible stories and activities, ways of engaging. It's been lovely to see Sally uh, using the Messy Church Facebook page uh, to stay connected with that community. And we've been uh, putting up uh, a service onto the church website uh, each week uh, for the last two weeks now, and we'll keep doing that through this coming period. Uh, just a short service and uh, a talk to help us still uh, come together and to worship God, to share uh, together uh, our love of God. And I hope that you are able to take advantage of that, those of you who have access uh, to the internet. Please do uh, use that. There are lots of other opportunities too, uh, from the Diocese, from the Church of England nationally and some of our other larger uh, churches are also uh, live streaming some of their services. So there are all sorts of ways in which we can continue in these strange and difficult times uh, to worship, to gather with other Christians, know that they too uh, are worshipping uh, with us. So please do use those resources, encourage others uh, who may not yet have, have located those to go onto the website and uh, to find out uh, about them. And we'll also be placing onto the website and into uh, a notice sheet uh, information about those for whom we can be praying in our, our own community. It's really important at this time that we do everything we can to encourage one another, uh, to support one another, because at different times each one of us are going to find uh, this immensely difficult, whether we're physically ill or struggling with our emotions or our state of mind. This is going to involve us experiencing lots of challenges and we need one another more than ever in this time. So please do do uh, play your part in staying in touch by phone, by social media, uh, in all sorts of ways. Uh, please do that uh, whilst maintaining uh, social distancing and keeping yourself safe. There's no doubt that times uh, will come when we feel anxious, even fearful, and we need to remind ourselves of those scriptures which uh, encourage us to turn to God. We're told, aren't we, not to be anxious about anything, but in every situation, uh, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, to come to God to bring our prayers to him, to seek him. We're told to cast all our anxiety on him because he cares for us. That is the God we have, a God who loves us, who cares for us, and who shares with us the pain and the brokenness of the world. We, of all people, uh, believe in a God who is not distant and apart from the world, but one who has entered into it, who has experienced pain and brokenness, and who has conquered it. And it's that God whom we 
uh, stay focused on during this time. Really important for us to know this is a God who calls us to come to him when we're feeling weary and burdened that we may find rest for our souls. And so uh, I pray that during this time each one of us will discover in the midst of all the challenges and the difficulties, the God who does love us and who's present with us. So I'm going to just share, share, say a short uh, prayer and, uh, and blessing. And uh, please do continue uh, to remain close to God through this time. So shall we pray together? Lord, we Thank you that you are a God who is steadfast and faithful. The God whom we know as our rock and refuge. And we ask that we may discover you during this time of huge challenge and pain and difficulty. To be the one who holds us we pray that we might discover your strength is made perfect in weakness. And we cry out to you as the sovereign God to bring this coronavirus pandemic to an end. We pray for all who are involved in the fight against it. All those in our healthcare system those working in our social care system, those medical researchers looking to find ways of treating and combating the virus. We pray for all of them. Ask for your blessing and protection for them. And especially those we know in our own church community. Uphold them at this time, we pray. And help all of us, Lord to find you as the God who is with us in these difficult times, walking alongside us and in fact at times carrying us when we are too weak to press on. And so I pray that the peace of God which passes all understanding will keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be upon you and all those whom you love and pray for, this day and always. Amen.